car survivalist here. I uh, just wanted to expand on my channel here, uh, not just on fixing your car, but how to uh, survive the situation if you had a broke down car or stranded or stuck or so on and so forth. So today it's raining and I said, well, this is the best time to prove this stuff. And I have uh, found a new product that I'd like to share with you guys and hopefully you can get some use out of it. And this demonstration will kind of prove to you how this thing works. So it is currently raining here at my place. You can see it's nice and wet. You can actively hear it dropping on the leaves. And we are going to practice. So today um, I found this stuff. Most of this is actually just sitting in the burn pile. I haven't had a chance to light it up for a couple months. And uh, found some really, really soaked. Two by four, for the most part, it's soaked. It's got a little bit of dry. This round piece is pretty much soaked all the way through and it's fairly wet and it's, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it green, but it's definitely not super dry. This stuff's a little bit drier and a little bit more cracked. So um, I guess I'm just trying to simulate if I were to be stranded somewhere and just had to deal with what I could find, I would most likely find something like this, something that's not split like a regular chunk of wood, not a piece of kindling like this inside of here. So this is gonna come out. So I'm going to basically simulate exactly what we'd find if we were stuck in a car situation, stuck on the side of the road. Here's the product I'm talking about. It's called Pole Start Fire, and it's a pole string fire starter. And uh, I'll have to give you some long-term results on this as well. Hopefully this uh, video will just kind of give me my first impressions of it. So far, so good. I like the smell of it. It feels right. It has a nice protective plastic wrapping on it all the way around. It has instructions on it. Um, it has a couple different really good key points. No matches, windproof. Lights wet wood, burns 30 minutes as you can read. Um, it is from uh, China, designed in the USA, but it is from China. And uh, a couple different things there as far as the information, some of the warnings and whatnot. So I'm going to get this thing uh, set up and I'm going to follow the instructions as they show on the back. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that to the best of my knowledge and see what this thing does and give you my opinion. Stay tuned. All right, here we go, car survivalist here. So what we're working on here today is this pull start fire. And uh, like I said, you can see it actively dripping into here. This stuff is fairly wet. It's not anything that's super dry. Same thing with all this stuff. Um, I mean, this stick does have a little bit to it, but it's not just a clean break, so it's got a little bit of moisture to it. So, um, so I'm just gonna pretend that we are on the side of the road somewhere. We gotta buckle down for a little bit. So here we go. So. Um, I'm just gonna throw this in here once I get everything else set up. So I'm gonna follow the instructions here. I don't even have my pocket knife. So we are just gonna simulate that this is a bad case scenario here. We are stuck and we are in big trouble and we happen to be okay because we have our pull start with us. So we're gonna try this out and see how this goes. All right, so you can see I just use a stick to penetrate that piece of plastic to get that thing. It's pretty nice instructions are here in case you're you know in a bad shape or you're frust you know flustered and frustrated. And it says pull red string. It's real simple stuff here. Loop green string. So we're gonna take this green string, we're gonna open it up and it talks about looping this around some logs. So I'm gonna do that. And again I'm just gonna take this green string and I'm gonna loop it around. I decided I'm gonna give it a little bit of a twist here because I don't want this log coming out. So this isn't per instructions, but this just makes sense to me. I want this thing to be nice and tight. So this is set up. I'm gonna pull my string out to where I have it, where I feel confident and comfortable. And then I'm gonna start by building up my fire here. So they want you to take this piece, basically, sorry, set it down first, and set it to where you have some more chunks of wood on top of it so that we have a nice, secure start here without blocking it thing that's going to happen here in just a second. So we're going to go something like this here. So now again it's raining out here. I just kind of set this thing up inside here. I'm going to set this and I might be re repositioning this once I get it fired up. I feel like this is the safest way to do it. So I'm going to have my red string. I'm going to feel where I'm comfortable on it. I have no idea what to expect here. I don't know if it's going to come out like a firework or if it's going to come out like a just a nice simple smoke. So um, to me it makes sense to have a little bit of pressure on these retaining logs before I go to pull this so that I have a secure feel that this isn't gonna come out. And uh, without further ado, let's do it. 
All right, so that's not as bad as I was expecting. He does definitely catch fire, so I'm not gonna touch it with my hands. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my own wet logs here to help reposition that, so there we go. Um, I would say it has a smell. I'm just gonna toss some stuff in here. I say it has a smell of like a road flare. So um, I like the benefit of this though because it has a, uh, a 30 minute burn time. It's uh, telling me that it's windproof and just as it is here. Uh, not phased at all. So um, those are some pretty strong blows there. Uh, I'm gonna let you sit there and watch and get this going. I'm gonna go grab a leaf blower real quick and see what this thing does. So you can watch how this starts and catches fire. So far so good. Um, I can definitely hear the moisture sizzling away and it's starting to um, get a pretty good little go here. So I'm gonna go grab a leaf blower and be right back. All right, so I'm back with the leaf blower. We're gonna give this thing a shot and see how it holds up. Uh, this thing's, I don't know what the miles per hour on it, but I have a feeling that this is probably a lot worse than most storms that anybody's ever uh, been out in. So we'll give it a shot and see what this thing does. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I didn't give it a fair shot here, but uh, I'll have to look at the roll there. And uh, I'm going to take it that that was probably only about uh, five minutes worth of burn time. Um, I don't know what their basis was on the 200 miles per hour thing, but I do have some embers still going in here. You kind of see this guy's an ember. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing to fire back up. I don't know that that's going to happen here, but. Um, all right so i think with that test is uh <clears throat> i think the ignition the ignition system is windproof um the fire, I don't know that it's 100% windproof here. I can still hear some crickling and crackling down here. So, uh, obviously, that's in a very, very extreme case, but I wanted to see what it would look like and uh, gave it a good five second shot there and saw what it did. And it did put it out. So, obviously, that's uh, probably a severe, severe case. Most of the time, we're going to be setting this thing up in a place that uh, we feel okay and sheltered, maybe with underneath uh, some coverage of some sort or at least a wind block. So, um, I don't know that that was a fair test for this product, but um, I do want to start one more here. Let's see what this thing can do. Um, I want to see how it actually obtained the fire here. So um, again, I'm going to start another one here. 
grab the right piece here so I can open my open my wet fire here. So again, I'm just gonna grab a stick here and give it a little bit of a pressure here, get this thing opened up. Again, I don't know um, how they do their ratings on, on miles per hour, but uh, I feel that in a camping situation or a fun day situation, if you're out just playing in the snow, um, it's not a life or death situation. This would be, uh, I would feel really confident using this as far as the start system goes so far. Uh, nothing's really completely dry yet. Like I said, I don't feel like I gave it the fair analysis here, but uh, I'm gonna keep that and show that to you too inside. Start over here. All right, so I'm gonna start this again, wrap this thing up. All right, well, I'm glad that I was able to uh, test that. That's kind of a cool process to see what happens here. Um, be curious to see if Full Start Fire ever sees this video and can give me some idea. But I think it's the initial fire up. Hopefully you can see this on the camera, but it has like a red flare type material to it. And I'm assuming that's probably what the strike mechanism is inside and, and what's causing it to fire up. So I'm going to try this again. So again, I'm going to... I've got that wrapped up, the green cord wrapped around the stick. I've got my red cord here, and I'm going to give it a quick pull. And I'm going to put this thing back inside of here. And I'm going to put this. So there's that red flare. Let's grab this thing real quick here. Okay, so there we go. All right. So that's not quite as long of a test, but it definitely didn't get distinguished inside. I can still see that nice red. The smoke's emitting like it's that red glare. Um, boom. So it looks like the flare is, I don't know if it's a flare, but whatever material's in there that's creating the actual initial fire is uh, still continually burning, getting the rest of this composite, whatever this material is, it's kind of interesting gummy type material. So um, it's getting this thing rocking and rolling. So it's getting a little dark with us, so stay tuned here and see what uh, we come up with this. So. While we're waiting for that thing to get going, I'm just going to tear this thing apart to see what it is. I don't even know. Um, Alright, so hopefully you can see this, but it's almost too like uh, cake type materials. Okay. And then some sort of a igniter inside here. That's on the green string side. Um, so a little piece of plastic, which uh, I'm not as a huge fan of. Obviously in a survival situation, you're not going to be worried about what's getting burnt out here, but um, if you decide to try to clip over that, that piece of plastic is a little concerning, but for uh, heat and shelter and warmth and just the confidence of having a fire, I am going to pull a piece of plastic out, but uh, I would be a little cautious as far as starting a fire or food at this particular time. Now, obviously, this is going to burn. Uh, hopefully, get my logs and pieces going. I am going to start adding a little bit more of this smaller kindling in here that um, again it's just wetter than wet stuff i'm hoping to get a good test on this and see how well this stuff fires up and goes here so all right so this material here it's just a i don't know how to explain it it's just a waxy almost sawdust is what i would say it is so um it has the color of sawdust of course it has a burnt smell to it now but um I just said it looks like a waxy sawdust. So, since if I was in a survival situation, I definitely want to be utilizing this. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here onto the fire so that I can get the biggest flame I can go to hopefully get some of this wet wood dried up so I can stay warm. So, all right, you can hear it snap, popple, and crackle. And um, ideally, it would have been better um, in this particular purpose to probably have some of this kindling already in there so it has the initial heat and temperature from uh, the initial spark and lighting so that it helps dry out that material even faster. But we'll watch this piece here. It's kind of starting to burn down. And it definitely looks like a waxy type material. Um, so I don't know that we want to cook over this right away. We're going to want that to burn off and get away. Um, but in a survival situation, you're going to be thrilled that you have a fire. So fire brings comfort. It brings heat. It brings a um, sense of protection. And... Uh, eventually you know as long as we can maintain our tinder and our fire this will give us uh, lasting heat throughout a survival situation or just camping so but camping normally you're not gonna be sitting out in the rain with me so 
anyways let's let this roll for a minute and see how this reacts um, so far I'm pretty pretty impressed we just went <coughs> up and played in the snow this last weekend and I wanted to start a fire and I just I did exactly like this I pulled a bunch of wet material I did not have a fire start or the full start fire and I uh, decided to go out and play and it was it was interesting to get a fire going so so far I'm, I'm really appreciating the result of this as far as a fire starter um, it did pass the wind blow test at the initial fire up and it's producing a very nice flame I can feel a lot of heat off it already and it's I can hear the wood starting to snap crackle pop which is telling me that it's drying out and it's starting to fire up and uh, this is good so if I was in a survival situation what I would be doing now is I'd be taking this stuff this other wet stuff not necessarily putting it in the fire because I don't want to I don't want to drown it out I don't want to get I don't want to deplete the oxygen of this fire so I want to keep this stuff close and I'm going to keep gathering my wood So obviously this ring is nice because I can stand things up, but I'm going to start getting this close. Um, it's not going to dry it out completely, but if I can get at least one side dried off, you can see this one, hopefully in the camera, it's starting to steam already. That moisture is starting to steam off there and wick off, so it will help dry it out. So as these start igniting, I can start pushing these in and I start the process all over. I don't know that there's a huge theory behind it, but that's what I've always done that seems to work. So. All right, so we're gonna let this burn for a little bit. We'll come back with you and show you uh, approximately a 10 minute reveal and where we're at and how this fire's doing. All right, so it's been about uh, 10 minutes here and uh, the only thing I've done to this thing is just add more wet sticks. And we're talking, it's wet, you know, they still have, they're not green, but they're just, they're soaked wet. And uh, so far, so good, everything's keeping up. Uh, so far, I'm actually pretty impressed on what this thing's doing. Um, I feel like this log here is starting to actually fire up pretty good. I've heard a couple pretty loud snaps. Uh, I don't know if you noticed the placement of this board, but you get a chance to have a flat piece like that without surrounding the fire too much and losing your oxygen, but it's built a little bit of a water shelter. So as this fire is able to start growing and build, um, it's going to help out keep that fire going, but it has a dry side to come up and get hot and get burning. So I can definitely hear and smell the pull start still burning. It has a waxy smell to it, almost like a candle. And um, I can almost hear a hissing or fizzing type sound, which I'm assuming is that wax melting down and burning. But uh, So far so good. Here's these chunks of wood. As you can see, they're starting to dry out here. A little bit of wet down here where it's below the fire. And a little bit right here left, but you can see this main part starting to dry out pretty good. Um, same thing with this guy, it's starting to dry pretty good. And uh, this one hasn't as much just because it didn't have the right position on it. But it just helps when that fire gets a little bit bigger. We start adding bigger pieces of wood. I'm going to have a little bit faster ignition on those. And uh, still same thing, we're sitting out here in the rain. I'm getting rained on just as we sit here. And uh, no protection above us other than... A couple of tree branches, but nothing that's significant enough to brag about. So, but uh, so far so good. As I add these little pieces in, these wet chunks start lighting up pretty quickly uh, once they get dried out and start burning. So I was sitting there watching this thing burn. I'm trying to just give this a least amount of attention, just in case um, if I were injured or I had somebody else that had medical attention, and I just need to get the fire started. I'm just trying to get this thing up and running without spend a whole lot of time on it and uh, I haven't promoted it anything with any oxygen or any other accelerants I've only used the full start fire and what I found out here that's soaking wet and uh, so far so good I was sitting there looking around too once I got done with the pull start I have this red rip cord left and uh, I'm just curious if it's gonna burn but it might be a piece of dry tinder it's still fairly dry it's been sitting out here in the rain but it's still fairly dry so I was just curious if it burns I'm assuming it does, so let's see if we can get a big here. Again, don't 
play with fire with your own risk, but I can't say it's a quick ignite ignition by any means. But it does definitely catch fire. So we'll add that as a piece of dry tinder. And this would be great if we did have an uh, <coughs> extremely wet situation and we just need an extra little piece of dry tinder to help get things going. But as you can see, this thing's starting to take off pretty well and uh, I feel pretty confident. That with a little bit more maintenance this thing would be ripping really well so like I said I haven't moved the main structures I've added a little bit more smaller twigs to it just to keep the, the pull starts um, actively burning and getting the heat to transfer to help dry these other pieces of wood so you can see how wet this is here on the side on both sides it's, it's taking its time to burn and uh, of course these are rounds which you'd most likely find nothing's going to be split out there and so kind of give you an idea but so far so good uh, this piece of wood here, I can actually feel the warmth in it. It's starting to dry off pretty good. I can actually probably rotate this over. Again, I don't want to necessarily drown out this fire quite yet. But it is starting to get a little dark here. and I'm feeling pretty comfortable that this would be a great addition for a survival kit in a car or hunting or backpacking or anything like that. There's such a small little piece. Um, I didn't get the measurement, but you can kind of get an idea with my thumbnail there how big they are and overall hand I'm guessing they're about six inches or so in width or length and uh, they're in a nice plastic protectant carrier you can see the water's beating up on them I don't know how long that would last I would probably wrap them double wrap them in either a vacuum pack or a ziploc bag to make sure that they're going to be dry when I need it I don't necessarily know I might do a wet test on this and uh, try soaking this or letting it sit out in the rain for let's say a day and then using it just to see if those ignition systems work out okay. All right, so we have officially given this thing about 45 minutes worth of time. I can still hear a little sizzle in there and I can't quite depict if that's just from the uh, water cooking out, but I haven't touched this fire other than this one piece right here. Of course, it's getting dark, but you might be able to see that. Um, I did let it go. I had to answer a phone call with a customer on some car issues. So I, I literally gave it a real world experience if I just didn't have any time. So I still have a ton of embers in here. I feel like I still have a great chance of a fire going here. The fire, the, the pull start, in my opinion, has done its job. So we'll see if we can get this thing fired back up real quick with what I have sitting here and uh, just show you that, you know, in a survival situation, I would have been much much more involved on the tinder of this thing to keep it going so I'm just taking the stuff that dried up right next to the fire here of course it's hot everything's hot so be cautious here and get this stuff back in here Let's see if we can get this thing fire back up It's just a little bit of work there. These are the dry ones that were close by. Again, in a survival situation, I will promise you that I would not have left this thing sitting on its own and I would have been maintaining this thing. Um, and so, in theory, proving that the fire, the pull start, has done its job. So there you have it, car survivalist here. Probably spend a couple more minutes getting this thing fired up, pushing these little pieces in here. Again, remind you that this is all wet wood. This is not your ideal fire material here. This is not, uh, you know, your your middle of the summer bonfire that you're deciding to start that has wood that's been dried for the last three months. It's just going to ignite with the look of a fire. So uh, I feel pretty comfortable that in a situation. They really depended on fire. This would do it for me and get me in a great position. So, anyways, <clears throat> got a little bit of smoke on that one. Thanks for following. Make sure you hit the notification up there on the right hand side. Like and follow. Share with your friends. God bless and have a great one.